The community quilters of Hampshire County donated their time, energy, and heart this holiday season so that others could have a very special Christmas. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. The community quilters, in a project that took nearly a year to complete, made 170 quilts for the students of West Virginia School for the Deaf and Blind. The organization, which started three years ago, has nearly 20 members. Pam Brady, Maureen Weisoppel, and the rest of the group selected the school last winter to be the recipient of this year's efforts. The group said they undertook the project out of a desire to make others happy. I'm Maureen Weisoppel from the Community Quilters of Hampshire County. We're very excited to be here at the Blind School today. Uh, we are presenting 170 quilts to students from the West Virginia Schools for the Blind and the Deaf. This project started last January. We've designed quilts to meet the need, kids' needs. Some of the quilts are kids either their favorite color or their favorite sport or their favorite animal. The ladies have taken that information and created a quilt unique for each child. Some of the quilts are textured or appliqued so that like the uh, students that are blind could actually feel the shape of what's on their quilt. One lady even put the name of the student in braille on his quilt. So it's been very exciting. Um, it has been a long process. We've had a lot of fun. Always amazed each week that the ladies would come with a creative idea and see a, a new quilt that no one else would have ever thought to put together that she's put together in unique colors for a special student here at the school. I actually, we're totally amazed that we're finished in, here at December. We've had some uh, assistance from other people in the community who heard that we were getting a little behind here in November. So we've been very excited about being here. The school, inspired by the quilt-making generosity, also got into the spirit and decided to create activities with a quilting theme. They studied the history of quilts, looked at the creative aspect in art, and even put together a play that was presented as part of the presentation program. The quilts were recently presented to the school in three separate events. The first event was the presentation of quilts to the kids at the School for the Blind. Okay, Lucas Combs. Tell me your name. Lucas. What you got there, Lucas? A very nice quilt. Wow. Made by wonderful ladies. What else? Look at all those Hi, I'm David Allen, Principal of the School for the Blind, and I can't tell you how much we appreciate what these ladies have done for us. This truly is something special, and of course we hope our children understand and appreciate how special this gift is. This is not just another toy from Walmart. Um, this is something that truly is something that can be used and handed down um, and valued over the years. What do you think about that? I now have my own aquarium, except it's frozen. <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. Wow, that's beautiful. Where are you going to keep it at? I think I might. I think I might take this home. Actually, I'll keep this. Actually, I'll, this will be my traveling blanket. I'll keep it with me where I go. Daniel. Daniel, what do you got? The quilt. <laughs> So you're the maker of this. What's your name? Jewel Cheshire. How long? How many hours? How many hours? Maybe four. This was the first one I made of six. It's been a joy to do. What's your name? Tyler. Where are you going to keep your blanket? With me. At all going to go with you wherever you go or are you going to leave it at home? It's going to go with me wherever I go. What is that? Who are you? Tell you? Tell your name loud. Victoria. Victoria. Victoria, what do you have there? A puppy dog. A puppy dog. Wave to him. And right here's the camera. So yeah. Curious George goes to what LA. What do you have there? Can you tell me about it? Tell him. Tell him who it is. Speak louder. Say it out loud. Curious George. Hello, what's your name? My name is Cynthia McDougall. 
That's another beautiful, you also made this one yes. as well. Where do you get your ideas from? Well, they gave us cards with the names on them and the colors that they liked and the animals and stuff they liked or sports that they liked, and we just went from there. The second event was a presentation of quilts at the School for the Deaf. Finally, on December 18th, a presentation program was held for the entire school. As part of the program, the students and staff discussed their studies on quilts and quilt making. Refreshments and food were served, including a special dessert made with a quilt theme. And the play that was put together at the school, titled The Quilt Maker's Gift, was presented for the ladies at Community Quilts and other attendees to see. Student staff and the quilt makers shared in a very special moment that seemed to touch everyone there. Congratulations to Community Quilts for their remarkable efforts and heartfelt gift of the quilts. Every time I go by, I enjoy them, and I didn't see them on last. Picture 